Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome all cross watchers for Capricorn. And for those of you who may be new to the channel, I am so happy to have you here. Be sure to say hi in the comments. I'm going to pull from um, Priestess of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through. Card 37, Divine Mother, Nurturing Compassion and Grace. Three and seven is ten, so we have some form of completion here. Um, and then that angelic protection of the zero drops off, and we reset to a one. So, um, for example, going from like the ten of wands to the ace, or the ten of swords to the ace um, of swords. So, think about yourself wrapping up some maybe stressful or painful situation um, with grace and feeling that sense of nurturing protection it's a nice message so if it speaks to you claim it all right i'm gonna jump in uh do the spread give you my general impressions we'll get details from the clarifiers So we're leading with the emperor and what is crossing is the world. That is the completion of a cycle. So the challenge here is something may be coming to an end so that a new cycle can begin. I like the world, but I can, I know when I'm coming up on closing something out, um, it, it's like this weird shift of energy that can be very disorienting. Queen of Swords, staying sort of in the in the moment. I like this for you because it's like I'm going to be level headed about it. I'm I'm checking my emotions at the door. I'm you know it's just the facts, ma'am. Kind of um, embodying the energy of clarity, of balance, um, of some insight, of no hidden agendas. Nice energy there. In the past, um, the chariot. So there could be some issues around moving away from something, moving on. Ace of Swords coming in. Wow, you're getting some real powerful clarity here internally and consciously. The moon in the near future um, may represent your need to sort of trust your intuition as you move into the unknown. So let's go ahead with regard to this connection or maybe any anything new. So let's see the emperor in the world. Yes, five of cups, eight of swords, magician. So um, it's difficult to conceive of the new cycle, right? To manifest it even because part of us is still living in the past. So what I'm seeing here um is i am absolutely seeing a closing out of a cycle perhaps with someone you perceive to be the divine masculine or as the divine masculine that you know there's just too too much water under the bridge to kind of go back but yet you're feeling stuck and maybe unsure of the next best step for how to manifest your next cycle so i am feeling there's something closing out here and it could be that uh, we are looking to manifest a fresh cycle with the same person. So keep that in mind. Um, but in order to do that, we kind of have to let bygones be bygones. So let's see the Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Strength card. Yes, um, seeing clearly that you sort of need to um, overcome and release a great burden something that's been very stressful difficult challenging um, and i'm now seeing the queen of swords a little differently because that seven of wands suggests that you're taking a stand for something it's almost like if i was going to put words in the queen of swords mouth it would be like yeah no thanks i've had it i'm, I'm done i've had enough thank you very much so it does feel a little different, almost like looking back, you may not know what your next best step forward is, but you know you don't want more of the same of what you've had. Interesting. 
So let's see the chariot. It feels very strong. That's why you're getting Divine Mother. It feels um, definitely like you're closing out a difficult cycle. That Ace of Swords is sort of in your conscious awareness is like after the 10, right? 10 of Swords, painful ending. Ace of Swords, uh, now I see. This is not what I want or not where I want to be. So let's see the chariot. So again, it feels like in the past, um, part of you may have wanted to take a chance on the situation to see what might come of the two of you moving forward and making progress, but there was definitely an exit strategy involved here. Um, I'm not sure who walked away. Maybe you both just parted ways or you let that take its course. But I'm definitely seeing like something in the rearview mirror that while there was a part of you internally that may have wanted to take a chance and see where it would go, um, thought the better of it and continued moving forward on your path. So let's see the Ace of Swords in your conscious awareness, what clarity comes of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel like this person gave you the runaround um, around commitment. I've got now the King of Swords with the Queen. Okay. So, but that Five of Swords landing on the Ace um, and underneath the theme is around something more committed um, or at the very least being a person of their word. The King of Swords can kind of be elusive that way at times, but I really think you felt um, set up. Like you see clearly now, yeah, this was never good, like <laughs> unfair fight, right? I wasn't going to come out ahead of the game here. Um, feeling maybe sabotage, set up, gaslighted, you know, fill in the blank. It's a general reading, so it'll be different for everyone, but I think you're finally seeing it clearly. And while it's difficult to envision the, the next cycle and the path forward, um, and there's some uncertainty there, I sort of feel like this ran its course. Or it became very clear that it was going to end up being a futile effort. So let's see the moon in the near future. Ace of Swords comes back. Okay, so uncertain if um, a new beginning is on the horizon, right? Like wanting to stay clear about the situation, so not to give in to illusion, um, and and not to fear not to fear the reality. We do have a King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles underneath. Could be something working itself out behind the scenes that would come in with a new beginning or an up leveling, some form of commitment even. Um, in the near future, but I'm almost feeling like that, that saying, you know, if you love something, set it free. If it returns, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was, right? So there's like this energy of, I got to let this go. I've got to kind of give up the fight. And I don't mean um, to be the doormat. That's not what I mean. I mean, like to say, no, this isn't the kind of struggle that like, I don't think relationship should be this hard, this difficult, this punishing. And so I'm going to close out this cycle. I don't know where this is headed. I don't know what will come of it. Um, but I'm, I'm staying open and clear, open and clear. Um, and I do feel like there's some measure of your instincts and your intuition that will guide you forward. So as long as you don't get um, hung up on the fantasy of it all or the illusions as they may be, as there may be, I should say. Um, I feel like there's a potential that you could see um, whether or not this person has the kind of integrity that you're looking for in order for them, you know, do they keep their word? Are they really interested in up-leveling? Are they available to show up for you here in 3D to be um, a partner right here, right now? Or are we playing games? Five of Swords. So that's what I see. Um, I'm certainly going to head to the extended and explore this 
um, emperor a bit more. We're going to look at um, higher vibration, lower vibration approaches to your connection, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you, something, some hidden energies that they might not want you to see or know about, and then what is their direct message to you. So that's what we're going to look at in the extended. So if this is aligned with your experience and you haven't already, please do join us here more regularly by subscribing below. And that helps me get the message. That is part of the algorithm. It helps me get the message out to more people just like you who are looking for that help. Click the notification bell so it just pops up in your feed when a new reading is uploaded. That's my ask. Um, I'm going to give you the astrology, the links to the extendeds are below and you can either go into a monthly program where you get access to more extendeds, um, more collections, or just the one-time purchase of this one is available too. Emperor is out twice, that's Aries. The world is Saturn, that's what's crossing us here. Saturn is the great teacher in the Lord of Karma and can be punishing. So that rules Capricorn and Aquarius. We have the, um, Magician is Mercury, rules Virgo and Gemini. Queen of Swords is Libra. The Strength card is Leo. Chariot is Cancerian energy. The Fool is um, Uranus. Uranus rules Aquarius. So we have the King of Swords is Aquarius. Hierophant is Taurus. The Moon is Pisces. King of Pentacles is more Taurus. That's what I have for you. Um, I do hope that you will give yourself some grace through this situation. You are wrapping up a cycle here for sure. Let's take a look into the inner workings of our emperor. I'll see you there on the other side. Bye for now.